Hey guys, it's Andrew back with another video and I've come up with another awesome tutorial in the Filmora Basics playlist and today you are going to be learning about exporting your files. Keep watching to know what it's all about and this is Infovit. It's me back here in another great video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you already haven't because it's going to be worth your while. You won't regret it. Now, what does exporting in Filmora mean? If you have a video and you export it, you can it to a video file like an MP4 or API. The export can be slow or fast depending on the size and the quality of the project. With me so far? Let's get to the editor now. If you have a project like I do, open in the video editor and contains a couple of videos or just audio tracks, well you can export anything here. That is, if it isn't blank. Anyways, to open the export dialog box, click on this button right here. It reads export, so you can miss it. But if you want to export things on the go, hit Ctrl E. You'll then be confronted by this dialog box. These options are very important because they can affect your output in video. First of all is the name of the video. Change this and the mp4 will be renamed that way once you export it. I haven't sped this part of the tutorial up due to the fact that the export is fast already. It's 2 seconds long so it'll naturally be that fast. Let's view the file now. There, it's renamed. If you're wondering where the export went or if you won't change its destination, you can do that in the save to text box. Now this option is where the real magic happens. Click settings, right by the resolution of the export. Like the export window, you'll face another one. The very first section is quality. It'll be better by default. You can say to anything you want. This drop down will let you change your encoder type. Mine is H264 and that's a video coding format for recording and distributing full HD video and audio. Next up is the resolution. You can export this as 1920x1080, 640x480 or even define your own custom resolution. Now what's frame rate? Every webcam and camcorder has a specific frame rate and when you record something with a frame rate like 60fps or 120fps you get some high quality slow motion. Some stock videos have a high frame rate and that makes some of them to be able to be slowed down. Here's a demonstration of some high FPS slow motion video. will end up choppy like this and that's good if you want to replay some epic moves but do know that higher the FPS the larger the file size and that's the same as bitrate what's bitrate in video streaming bitrate refers to the number of bits that are conveyed or processed in a given unit of time but just like FPS higher the bitrate the bigger the file size the size of the video depends on the length of the project and the bitrate if the file size looks too big, you can try changing the bitrate in the settings video to make it smaller. Click OK and then export and your project will be exported to the set destination. But hang on, these other options right here, video formats, yeah that's what they are. By default your videos are exported as mp4s, but you can customize the format as avi, wmv and mp3s. We're not done yet. On to the next tab, Device. Once you open this, the Format Select box will change from a list of formats to a list of devices. 
Like the formats, you can change these to affect the export ratios. Yep, that was a small tab to talk about. I admit that. But it can be useful sometimes. Filmora also lets us upload our project into YouTube as an exported MP4. Mind blowing, right? Right here is the button that reads Sign In. And if you click on it, you'll be redirected to a Google Sign In web page. I won't be signing in for this, but I'm just going to be talking about it for now. The title is like the name of your video, except it's going to be published on YouTube as that title. And the quality settings can be changed just like the local tabs options. Almost every YouTube video has a description, and a good one too. You can write down your own description straight in Filmora, and that will result in the video being published that way, just like how the title behaves. The category is a drop down in which obviously does what it says and it shows the video in the selected category. The tags and privacy levels are up to you to change. Uploading to Vimeo is almost the same thing as being uploaded to YouTube, although DVD is completely different. Let me explain. Label is the name of the DVD file. The ratio has two options and that's 16 to 9 and 4 to 3. TV standard sets the color encoder mode, either if it's NTSC or PAL. There are two options in the encoding type as well, like CBR. And CBR stands for constant bit rate. During CBR encoding, the bit rate or the number of bits per second is kept the same throughout the encoding process. VBR stands for variable bit rate. Variable bitrate encoding adjusts the data rate down and to the upper limit you set, depending on the data required by the compressor. The main difference between D9 and D5 are the capacities. D9's capacity is as twice as large as that of D5. I would recommend the D9 for big projects that you are going to export. The output setting changes where the file is to be outputted and into which disk you want to export it to. And that's all for the export dialog box. Okay, so this tutorial is coming to an end. I hope you've learned a lot from this. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Maybe export one of your own projects and post it in the comments down below. By the way, what other tutorials would you like to see on our channel? Something on audio editing, photo editing or video editing and more? It's up to you to decide. Well, no matter because I'll be coming back in then. With that being said, I'll see you in the next tutorials and stay tuned for the latest.